guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much, as usual, for watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about praising others. Now, if you're like me, and I think most people are, we really, really, really love praise. But a lot of people don't realize what we give, we also receive. And in this video, I'm going to help you understand that. Now, this is the eighth video out of 11. So if you haven't seen the other videos, don't worry. You can just look below in the description section, and you will see information on how to view all of the other videos. You will also see information about the scholarship that I have coming up. So if you're LPN or LVN looking to get your RN or BSN or RN looking to get your BSN, then you definitely want to check that out. Guys, there's no strings attached. You can fill out the form and once you do that, you'll automatically be entered into the scholarship. This is to help excite and empower you to get the degree you need to be successful in your career. All right, guys, let's get right into the video. Step number eight, how to give those around you praise. So I know that as a nurse, you can feel quite unappreciated at times. You'll work long hours, you'll work really hard, and sometimes the only time that your director or the charge nurse comes to talk to you is when there's a problem. And it can be really frustrating. I, I mean, I get frustrated too sometimes because you know you do so much, so many good things in a day for them to come at you with only negativity. It can be very mentally challenging to accept that. So fortunately, I have a father who is just ridiculously positive and he always said, you know, silly praise sentences to me. And, you know, when you hear these things, they do make a difference. So I do say silly praise statements and you know, in very simple and easy ways. For example, just the other day, I was working with this amazing nursing assistant and it was just so refreshing to be with somebody that really cared for your patients. And all of the patients loved her. They were well taken care of. She was just always smiling. And so I just went over to her and I was like, I just want to thank you for, you know, being so wonderful today. It's really been, it's been a great day. Thank you. So I could have said to myself, you know, that's her job. Like that's the way she's supposed to be. But you know what, I would like to be um, recognized or praised for my good work. So why am I not going to do that with somebody else? You can even do that with your superiors. For example, there was this one, not every doctor or not every nurse practitioner or any, you know, not every supervisor likes to take praise, but there are certain ones you can tell, you can feel. So there was a neurologist that I was talking to and I could just tell that he really loved his patients and that his patients, you know, he was going to do everything that he possibly could for them. I would see him coming early, staying late, um, taking on more patients than he really could, but just doing his absolute best. And so I told him one day, I said, you know, your patients are really lucky to have you. And believe it or not, like he, he was actually just so taken aback and he was like, yeah, thanks. Th thanks for saying that, you know? So you never know. Um, you never know the way people are going to react and the effect that you can have on the people that you have contact with. So there's also a nurse director that I noticed was doing an amazing job with her unit. The people seem to be staying, which is, a, which is, I'm sure you know, is a big deal when people stay on a unit. And they also seem to be happy. The unit was also very well run, very organized, and she was able to mandate a nurse to patient ratio, which no other unit had been able to do. So I just went up to her and I said, you know, I'm really impressed with what you've done with this unit. And I, you know, I just wanted to let you know that you're doing a great job. So just keep up the good work. And her again, like she was just like, wow, thanks. thanks. Thank you for noticing. And I think that's the thing, like we all notice things and we all just assume that person knows what a great job they did. But honestly, like there's nothing like hearing it, especially from somebody that you don't expect hearing it from. So just be on the lookout for people that are really going the extra mile, really being exceptional. And don't be afraid to let them know that you notice that they're doing a great job. The other thing that I notice is that when you're on the lookout for excellent behavior, you actually learn a lot from watching these people. You know, how do they interact with people? How does that one nurse get so many of her patients to just rave about her? Or how does that one CNA seem to take care of all of those patients and they all look amazing? They're all taken care of. So how do they do that? So, I mean, not only will you be learning about giving other people recognition that they really deserve, but you'll also be learning about how to be a better nurse yourself. And I promise you that when you give other people recognition, you really won't need it as much for yourself. So I do want to elaborate on this a little bit just to kind of show you how powerful praise is. So when I was going to a middle school, I was told that I had a learning disability and that I needed to 
be tested so that I can basically be put into special needs classes. So my parents said, okay, fine, she can do the testing or whatever, but you have to know, and this is my father speaking to the principal of the school, he said, you have to know that my daughter's a genius. And as ridiculous as it sounded, I mean, here I am being tested for learning disabilities, I'm far behind all of my other peers. I couldn't believe that he said that. And those words of praise really stuck with me. And so even when I, I struggled through the end of middle school and I also was held back an entire year in the eighth grade and also struggled in high school, I always had that feeling that I am a genius. So my dad planted a seed through positive words that really stuck with me. And I think that it stuck with me more because I was in a very vulnerable situation. Um, it was a very embarrassing situation, but you know, again, extremely vulnerable. And so what I noticed too is that you really might not know what that other person just went through. What if they're being the best CNA or the best nursing assistant because they were just yelled at? So they might feel very weak and very vulnerable and very like beaten up, but if you give them kind of some positivity, you might just change their life. You can never underestimate the power of your words. So here are some of my favorite things that I love to say to my fellow staff members. And they include, wow, you're the best. I can't believe you did that. That's amazing. I also like to just say thank you. Thank you so much. That really helped out. Or wow, you noticed that? That's great. You're so smart. I am completely amazed by you because you have done so much and it's only 9 a.m. You're truly amazing. Wow, you look beautiful today. Who doesn't like to hear that? <laughs> I love your scrubs. Are those new? Have you lost weight? Have you been working out? You look extra happy today. What's going on? You get a gold star for today. Go you. That's actually one of my favorite things to say. And yes, I do say that all the time. So guys, listen, I know that some of these are super cheesy, but you know what? Like saying cheesy things will just make you happier. So just do it, be cheesy, have fun, and see where it takes you. So your exercise now is to think of two people that are very deserving of praise and write that praise down. You don't have to say it right now because that would be ultra cheesy if you said it to them right after this video, but you can if you want to, be cheesy. But make sure you also praise them at a time when they're least expecting it. All right guys, I will see you in the next video.